Hey Virgos, this is going to be an X reading for December 6th through December 12th, guys. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs to see if it's likely that your ex will come back. Will you guys reconcile? Let's see what's going on for Virgo. What's going on for Virgo? Virgo. The Chariot. Ace of Cups. Judgment. Strength. Four of Swords. Nine of Wands. The World. The Queen of Swords. Is it likely in the middle? All right, guys. All right, Virgo. So you're coming in as the chariot. You are most definitely wanting to move forward in a positive direction in this relationship. You're wanting to leave the past and the past and just move forward. Let bygones be bygones. And that is where you are. You no longer want to argue. You don't want to fight. You want to talk things out. Um, you just want to make it right the way that it's supposed to be. The other person is trying to get to that point where you are. They are trying to get like you, okay? And I feel like they are coming to be in the same spot that you're in. They are being offered this this love from God, they are, and, and they're trying to take that in. They are trying to incorporate that in their life when they need to be filled with it. But it's almost like they are kind of fighting against it a little bit. Um, and, and, and I don't think it's intentional. I really don't think it's intentional. Um, and they want to start with you. But they're going to have to get themselves together initially for them to even be able to come towards you and vibrate on the level that you are currently, okay? Now, what you want is judgment. You want to make a fair decision. You want to make a just and right decision. You want this relationship to have a rebirth. But I feel like there is a contingency upon this relationship having a rebirth. And that is only if this person is bringing to the table what you are bringing to the table. And I feel like here, what they want is the strength to do just that. I feel like they want to come, they, they, they want to get themselves together so that you guys can like come back together and it be stronger than ever. That is what I feel here. There is Leo, Cancer, um, Energy, Scorpio, Libra, Sagittarius um, here, okay? And um, so that is what they want. They, they want. they want the wheel. They want the courage to come towards you. They really, really do. And it's like they've been fighting against how they feel all of, you know, for a while. Could be eight months. Could be almost two years that this, this push and pull has been going on between the two of you. Okay. Now, what you actually need is what I think that you are kind of doing, but there may be um, a need to take a little more time for yourself to kind of really think and give this situation a good decision, a good judgment here with the four swords being in um, the present situation with what you need, okay? There is a need for you to kind of take a time out and kind of really take stock in what it is that you feel, like you genuinely feel about this person and the connection. Like, is this worth it to you? Is this person worth it for you to put yourself back into a situation where you could possibly be hurt again? Now, what they need is a nine of wands. And I feel like this person needs, this is another strength card here. This person needs the strength 
to allow some healing from God to allow the love that you're trying to offer them, that you have offered them before, to stop being so defensive, to stop fighting against you. Because in, I'm getting that they're fighting the wrong person. That is what I'm hearing. They're fighting the wrong person. Almost as if there are other people that are against the connection that's in their ear. I'm getting that strongly that somebody else and this could be family members. It could be adult children. It could be, you know, just their friends that are in between you guys and causing this rift. I'm getting that strongly. Okay. So is there somebody in the way? Is there somebody in between for you? We have the world card. Now, there's nobody currently. I don't I don't think so. I think you're just mainly trying to get over this hump, this um this this period of strife that you've been in with your ex. And you're not really concerned about, you know, being with anybody else currently. You're wanting to move you're wanting to be in a better um, situation with them. You're hoping for like this rebirth, like another karmic cycle with this person. Only one that brings good karma, to, you know, to you. Um, and I feel like, you know, you're really just concentrating on trying to, you know, get back with this person and make things right. Make your relationship stronger and better. Um, but just remember that, you know, you have the four swords here in your needs. Needing to really take a time out, take a time out because, you know, you can't force things. Sometimes you have to put stuff out there and then once you put it out there, just let it be, just let it be. Okay. Now, <clears throat> is there somebody in their mist? For some reason, I don't think so. I mean, the, the Queen of Swords is coming up, but I feel like this queen is very defensive. I feel like this queen is very abrupt. I don't really feel like they have the emotions currently to offer anyone else because they're again up here, they're wanting the strength to start to be better, to be a better person for themselves. I think this is more for themselves, for, you know, because they, I feel like they've been kind of beaten down and I feel like they try to be strong in the face of other people. And I feel like a lot of people have been putting things in their ear about you. There may have been a lot of gossip going on, um, here. I feel like you're very attractive and I feel like people are using your your outer appearance um as a as a way to say to this person, well, you know, she or he, you know, may be out there doing this, that you ought to go ahead and do this. You know what I'm saying? Um and I get that strongly here because I feel like they're very like even though they want they want to they think about you. And the connection between you two is still there, but I feel like they're very defensive and they're very hurtful in their words. If you've, if you've spoken to them since the breakup, um, they may have been very abrupt and very cold with you and probably made you feel like they didn't, you know, share this, this cup with you, which they do. But I don't think anybody else is involved. I think it's more so about how you guys communicate and how you interact with each other here. Is it likely? Not as long as ego is involved in this. You know, all of these swords are feelings of betrayal 
thinking of the betrayal, thinking of the hurt, thinking of the words spoken. The past needs to be in the past. Nobody says to forget about it, but you have to be able to forgive and move on, move past that. And I think that's something that you guys share, but primarily, I feel like you are letting go. You are letting go. You are putting an end to, you know, the horrible thoughts that you felt about this person, the betrayal that you feel like they inflicted upon you. I feel like with the judgment and the Ten of Swords, I feel like you're letting that go. Like you're done with that. It's no longer serving you. But I feel like there is a need for your ex to let that go. But until they actually let that go, um, I don't see them coming back within um, this time period of this 6th through the 12th, okay? That's only for this period. That's a week, guys. So, you know, things things could really turn around, can really shift because they do have the strength card here sitting on top of the Ace of Cups. So that is a good that is a good sign right there. They're, they're really trying. They're having to fight, though. They're having to fight not only within themselves, but they're fighting, you know, with the the ideas and the input of other people as well here, which is making them very defensive because they're listening to it. So it's making them defensive towards you. Okay, so that's what I have for you guys, uh, Virgo, and I will be speaking with you soon.